Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. This is your preview for Everton versus Manchester United at Goodison Park. Big game for Manchester United. It has been a crazy week. What I'm going to do in this video is run through my starting 11 prediction for the game. Uh, let's quickly take a look at what Eric Ten Hag's team's, uh, team news uh, for the Everton test. Of course, uh, Eric Ten Hag mentioned uh, that uh, Rafael Varane could recover from his ankle injury in time to play in Sunday evening's uh, Premier League match with Everton. He also spoke about uh, Harry Maguire. Of course, Harry Maguire has been ruled out. And Aaron Wambasaka and Donny van der Beek are also out for the game. So they're not going to be available for this game. Uh, he will obviously keep his cards uh, to his chest because um, he doesn't want to make too many changes. He has seen uh, Anthony Martial score against uh, Ammonia yesterday. Uh, and also Rashford scored in that game as well. So those two definitely are pushing uh, to, to be included in the, in the starting 11. Let me just quickly show you guys what the table looks like currently. So we all know Arsenal are leading the table with 21 points, as you can see. So United are sitting at sixth position with 12 points. So pretty much, I think, uh, two points behind top four. Plus, we have a game in hand, I believe. So uh, especially on, on Tottenham. So I think we have to win this game. It's a must-win game for us. We cannot draw this game. We've lost against Man City already. We've, we, we've dropped points in that game. So we want to make sure that <clears throat> we <clears throat> go into this game to win. Um, looking at the starting 11, uh, let me just quickly show you. So this is the team that actually started against Ammonia yesterday in the Europa League. Uh, David De Gea. I think he will stay. I don't think any other keeper is coming in for the Everton clash. Lindelof, I think he has to come out for me. I'm definitely going to go with Varane if he's 100%. I think Varane should be starting this game. Hopefully he's, he's able to play because uh, if he's not 100%, I don't want to risk him in this game. Uh, the loads will keep his position. There is no competition with the load at the moment. And Juan Basaka is somehow, he's like a ghost, basically. Nobody knows what's wrong with him. Is he fit? Is he injured? I mean, Ten Hag mentioned uh, he ruled him out, but I don't think he mentioned that uh, Juan Basaka is injured. So it's a, it's, a, it's a mystery for me that we've completely just put him aside without even giving any sort of chance for Juan Bissaka. Uh In the middle of the park, we've uh, started Casemiro and Eriksen. I would definitely go with Fred and Casemiro in this case, because I think this could protect our back four. We are playing away from home, and I think we should be playing two CDMs. Fred could be useful with his pace, and Casemiro definitely needs another central midfielder that can actually defend with him. I don't think he can play on his own. We've seen it uh, in Real Madrid. Casemiro plays with Luka Modric and uh, Kroos. So he's always been playing with two other midfielders that kind of protects his back four. So that that's how you get the best out of Casemiro, I believe. So I think Fred should be playing alongside Casemiro. Of course, there is an argument to play McTominay, but I, I just think McTominay is not good at uh, passing the ball or even holding on to the ball. So I think my first choice would be Fred, and I expect Fred to partner Casemiro in the middle of the park. And... Uh, oh, I actually forgot to mention Luke Shaw. So Luke Shaw has to start for me at the uh, left back because he has been I mean it's not that he has been outstanding but it's just the fact that um, 
Malaysia. I mean, Malaysia has been struggling. Like the past few games, we've seen Malaysia struggle, and and yesterday also in that game, he cost us a goal. But the first goal for uh, Ammonia, I know you can also blame Sancho for that goal, but I do. <clears throat> You still got to uh, blame Malasia because he's the one who's actually trying to hold on to the ball and they take the ball away and they go to the other end and score. Um, so even before the game, uh, Omnia, I think against Manchester City, Malasia was also exposed. He was taken off at halftime. I do expect Shaw to start against Everton. He did okay yesterday when he came on against uh, Ammonia and uh, we managed to win the game he was he was decent in the second half so I expect him to start uh, against Everton okay sorry about that so let's go back to uh, the middle of the park I definitely cover everything here um, Bruno okay here's the topic I mean a lot of fans might disagree with this one but I expect Bruno I think Bruno should be dropped and I'll start Ericsson here. Why not give freedom to Ericsson so he can do what he's actually good at, which is creating chances and finding passes. I just don't think we should be playing Ericsson in a deeper role, especially when we are playing away from home. It just exposes our back four and it makes us weak in the middle of the park. And I, I think we should just play Ericsson up top here. I can understand when you play a small team at home, uh, you can go for a bit more creativity in your team and you might end up playing Ericsson in a deeper role and Bruno as well. But away from home, Everton is not an easy team. They, uh, they didn't lose. I think they played against Liverpool. They haven't lost against Liverpool as well. So I think it's going to be a KG difficult game. So I expect Ericsson to be playing behind um, the striker here as a number 10. Uh, Anthony. Okay, so now let's talk about the right wing position. I, I think there's no competition here for Anthony. Even though I'm kind of like unsure about Anthony. What I've seen in the last game, he was just cutting inside and shooting. I want him to be a bit more uh, patient and a bit more um, unpredictable. He was just going in, cutting inside, shooting, or going in or going outside, coming back and passing the ball. I want him to take on players. I want him to be unpredictable. Uh, I expect that from him moving forward. So, but we we, we do have to give him uh, some time to adjust and, and adapt. Uh, to the team and I do expect him to keep his position I don't think Ilanga is the answer Ilanga is doesn't have any quality at all so I, I don't I don't even think he's gonna replace Anthony so Anthony stays there for me Ericsson like I mentioned would be the number 10 and Sancho okay Sancho this is this is another weird one like Sancho I think Sancho needs to be dropped, really. Like, he has to be dropped because of what I have seen in the past two games. Sancho yesterday against Ammonia, he is actually the one who passed it to uh, Malasia, and that ended up being a goal. He made the mistake, and he wasn't even running back. The rest of the team was actually chasing back, trying to recover the ball. He was just running, uh, slowly jogging. And because of that, I think Ten Hag took him off at halftime. Uh, and I, I think he might be dropped for this game. So I would definitely put uh, Rashford in his position. So Rashford, for me, should start. He came on yesterday, did really well. And I expect him to stay in that right, I mean, left wing position uh, and, and keep that position. Up front is a debate. Of course, Cristiano didn't play well uh, against Ammonia, but he did get an assist and he didn't score. He actually played okay, but he he, he just couldn't finish his chances. And I think we, should, uh, we shouldn't we should just 
dismiss him just because uh, he missed a couple of chances that, oh, the GOAT is finished, uh, Cristiano's finished, he's getting old. I think we're far away from that. Uh, by saying that, though, I do expect Martial to start over him simply because Martial is in four. So even though I think uh, Cristiano could start, I think the right choice would be Martial uh, because this is he did it twice now. He came on as a sub and scored against Ammonia, also scored twice against Man City. So I expect Martial to start uh, against Everton uh, on Sunday. I don't think anybody could disagree with that. So that is my um, preferred starting 11 and my actual prediction for the starting 11. Going into the head-to-head uh, -head matchup, as you can see here, we, the last uh, five games, we actually won twice and we lost twice against Everton and we drew one game. So I think it's going to be hard. It's really going to be hard. I don't think it's going to be easy to play against uh Everton and, and we really really got to be careful against them not to take them lightly and that is it guys that is your preview uh, I'm gonna give you my prediction my prediction is 2-1 to Manchester United all Everton games have been really tight and this one is no different we might be fatigued after that win against uh, Ammonia and Cyprus on Thursday but I still expect us uh, to go and get the win. So that is my prediction. Let me know in the comment section what would you change in this lineup? Who do you think is going to start? And what is your score prediction for that game? Leave your comments down below. And thank you for watching. And I'm out. Peace.